what's up guys i hope that you guys are having a great day i hope that you guys had a great week um i'm sorry for not posting in kind of a while it's just because i had school and work and that can take up you know like a lot of my time um but for today's uh topic of the video i'm going to be speaking about um, um, you know, marijuana and stuttering and my, you know, experience with it, um, and if it helped me or if it harmed me. So, um, my first job, I was a bus boy and I was a, of uh, I was a, of uh, a uh, freshman in uh in in uh 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 high school and my stutter was like really really bad it was really really horrible i just could not even speak i would have a hard time speaking but i'm kind of happy that i had that job because it surrounded me with people who were very nice and very very understanding of my stutter and my speech impediment. Um, so I was just on the internet and I was like searching up ways that you can maybe help your stutter and maybe speak a little bit more f uh, fluently. And I came across uh, you know, medical marijuana. And so I spoke to my parents about it. I spoke to my dad. <clears throat> so me and my dad went and got a box of, of gummies that would get me high. But the idea was to only take a small amount so that it would help me speak better. It would... It, it, it would help my, I guess it would help my, you know, my anxiety. Um, it helped me kind of calm down because it also had this, the uh, CBD properties in it. But also it would not only help up here, it would help here because I would stutter so bad that my mouth would hurt. That like my jaw, my tongue, like my mouth would just be so sore from st like just stuttering and just all these stuttering, uh, you know, uh, you know, uh, you know, moments, and it would take a toll on like my jaw and like my my and my and just my mouth. So I started to take those and. At work, I did, you know, notice that it would help my anxiety, um, and it also would help my stuttering for like a little bit, but it would be kind of t t temporary. Um, and I used it not only at work, but even at school. You know, like even if I went to, you know, like a family uh, function, I would take a small amount so that I'm not high and I'm, and I'm like not even here on this planet. I would just like just take a, you know, just like a very small amount to the point where I feel it like a little bit where it's like a slight it where like I feel, you know, like a buzz kind of, and then that would help me speak m more f uh, fluently and it would help my anxiety and my depression. And then I also tried CBD, um, CBD oil, and that also helped too. I use that in school a lot too. Um, and now that I'm in c c college, 
um i've gotten like a lab i've gotten like a lot better in terms of speaking i got a lot better in terms of just being more just being more accepting of myself um and sometimes i still use the gummies i still use the oil or i might even use the vape uh form instead um but for me it's not something i should heavily rely on it is just a crutch and that's what my dad said also um that it, that you should not um use it too much or not uh rely on it always but just have it there as just a crutch and i've seen people who stutter and they tried um you know medical marijuana and they said that it actually made their stutter worse and so that kind of scared me at first because that was the last thing that I wanted to do for me. I wanted my stutter to get better and I, and I was so afraid to get worse, but I knew that I had to do something that I, I just had to find a crutch because back then my my stutter was horrible like it well not horrible it was um it was just very f uh, f uh frequent very 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 frequent and if you're stuttering like a lot and like hard too like it's it drains you like that's just like speaking takes 10 times the amount of effort for a stutterer than like a person who you know doesn't stutter so yeah that's my that's kind of my short shortened uh, uh summarized experience um of you know using you know medical uh marijuana for my stutter um you guys can say down in the comments or whatever if you guys want me to go more in depth of 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 that story and my and my experiences with it but in c c conclusion what i uh you know uh you know recommend it um and i would just say it just it depends it just it it depends on you if you feel like it will help you um then take it um but start small because if you start at a huge amount already you could have you could get you could get uh you know uh you know more anxiety because with because with the marijuana it 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 can't it does have a calming effect, but at the same time, it is going to amplify your thoughts and your and your feelings. So if you, so, if you take a gummy or whatever, and you're like in a sad mood, and you take a gummy, you know the gummy is gonna make that feeling and that thought t t t ten times more um, worse. So it so it is up to you, um, but just know that I've done it. I there was actually a few a, f a few times where I took t t too much at school and at work, and that was like a very scary time. But you know, I can go you know more in depth if you guys want to hear about that. Um, and I just want to say thank you guys so much for, oh. and I just want to like apologize again that I didn't, that I haven't 
been uploading. It's just that with school and work, um, it takes a lot of time out of my day and it's very tiring. But now that I have a little bit more free time, I guess, or maybe I'll get a new, uh, a new uh, routine going, I will be able I will be able to post more and yeah so you know thank you guys for watching I know that this was a shorter video um I hope that you guys have a great day I hope that you guys are doing well in school or at work or just your hobbies and your interests and your passions um and I'll see you guys in the next video.